What's good, YouTube? Devil 2 here, back again once again. And today, people, today we are here for episode number 14, I do believe, of Late Night Yellow here on the channel. I gotta get used to saying it. And tonight, people, tonight, we are back for episode number 14 of Late Night Yellow here on the channel. If you missed out in the last episode, we did quite a bit. We took on Erica, we made our way down here to Fuchsia City. So if you missed out on that, definitely make sure to go back and check it out. In today's episode, we have quite a bit. In tonight's episode, we have quite a bit to do as well. I kind of want to clear out Fuchsia City uh, and snag as many new encounters as we can. Maybe spend some time running the Safari Zone. Oh, I forgot to pull up a map. Oh, I need to pull up a map so we know where the fuck we're going. But anyways, if you guys are hyped for some more Late Night Yellow, and of course you want to show your support as a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure to like button down below for us because you already know it's greatly appreciated. Now, let's get a super de duper quick team recap. Up first, we have our newly evolved Sasha, our starter, our Nine Tails at level 43, Rock and Flamethrower, Fire Spin, Quick Attack, and Confuse Ray. Then up next, we have Filiberto, our Articuno. Look at that special. Oh, makes me feel so special. Uh, level 42, Rocket Ice Beam, Peck, Fly, and Stun Spore. What a moveset. What a moveset. What a moveset. Ooh. Then up next, we have Major, our Raichu. I was going to say our Thundershock, our Raichu. Look at that speed. Ooh. Speedy little boy. Rocket Thundershock, Thunder Wave, Growl, and Crab Hammer for those pesky ground types. Up next, we have the Mon that we didn't even know we needed, the Major Pain of the squad, a Xavier, our Alakazam. I said it yesterday or last night. I think this Pokemon should be illegal. Why did they ever make a Pokemon this good in Generation 1? What the fuck? That speed and that special. Ooh, I mean, he's a glass cannon, but what's living? What is living? What is living? What is living a Psychic from an Alakazam? Like, maybe a Snorlax? Even then, that's denting it. Maybe another Alakazam? <laughs> I think that's all you really got. But Xavier... Is Rockin' Psychic, Psybeam, Confusion, and Kinesis. Then up next we have Winston the Pirate. Look at that attack. Look at that defense. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's just taking lives. Level 43, Rockin' Stomp, Crab Hammer, Clamp, and Guillotine. And then last but not least, chilling at the bottom of the party, we have Monty, our Sand Slash, 112 attack, 119 defense. Ooh, Slash Dig, Sand Attack, and Cut. What a squad, what a squad. I wonder how far we've come. Ooh, how far we've come. God damn. Okay, so first things first. I think I want to run this route really quick, like. I want to whoop these trainers. I wanna whoop these trainers real quick, get this little bit of experience. A right on. A right on. Monty, you got this, buddy. I know it's like a little bit of experience like we need it, but I don't know. I've heard a lot of spooky things about the next gym, the next two gyms actually. Um, and I don't know, I, I don't know about you, but I would rather have my mons leveled up and ready for the next gym versus potentially getting a mon wiped and then having to spend an hour grinding up another mon to replace it. But I don't know, that's just me. That's just me. It's just me, a little bit. So I'm in a really fantastic mood tonight. Um, I know we talked about um, doing different projects on Nappy the Great in the past on this series. Um, it, I mean, I know it's definitely something that I want to get into again. Um, the only issue that we're encountering right now is I just don't know what I want to play. <laughs> I don't know what game. Oh, we don't have a fighting type. Leonard. Oh, Leonard. Leonard. Um, I don't know which games I want to start with. Um, I was going to say I'm in a really great mood because I just finished uh, playing a couple games of Phobies. And I could not get to the next rank that's available. You know, slice him up. Arr, make him walk the plank. Uh, so in the game, there's, of course, like a. Yo, can we Oko this Lapras too? No, I want it. I want it. Winston? Winston? Okay, buddy. And you're asleep? Alright, bro. You're just gonna make us go back to the Pokemon Center, huh? So, in the game, there's, like, ranked matches online and whatnot. And then you can go up in rank. Um, and for the longest time, I've been stuck at 2200. It's a little over halfway through the ranks, I guess. 
I think there's like seven ranks to go through or something like that and this is like the fourth one the top of the fourth one so I'm about to break into a uh, tier three I guess or whatever you want to call it they have different names for them but I don't remember what it is at the top of my head um but I could not get past 2200 for the longest time and it started to feel like almost like you don't really have to pay to play to play this game you know they put a cap on um, certain resources that you can gather every day so you can't just sit and no life the game and just beat everybody you know they want you to spend money <laughs> uh, Monty I have to remember there's no levitate there's no abilities at all um, but you could pay to play if you wanted to but you don't you really don't have to you know you could probably play like I don't know probably 10 games a day or so and gain everything that you want and in all honesty be tuckered out <laughs> you know you don't really need to play any more than that because it's a game you kind of have to think like you know unless I, I feel like unless you're really really into it you know you're gonna be kind of get this out of here you're gonna be a little tuckered out after a couple games but I don't know that's just me it's just me it's just me, it's just me. Uh, I mean when I first got into the game I was playing it non fucking stop that's how I found out about the cap <laughs> But of course, like I said, they just want you to spend money on it. But the point that I'm trying to get to is I felt like I was at a point in the game where I was pretty much going up against other, like the people that I was going up against were basically pay to play people. Like their phobies were just so much better than mine. Uh, I mean, that's not to say I didn't get my ass whooped fair and square. I did get my ass whooped fair and square, but it was one thing I was noticing, like you could spend, like they could spend three keys on some shit and it would be twice the health as what I could spend three keys on, you know, just shit like that. But I think I'm finally like learning to play around it. There's different play styles, different things you can do, but long story short, I did a couple test recordings today and I think I like where we're going. So I think phobies might be something. Um, a couple of you guys were saying that if we did like a community, a group heyday project that you'd be down to play. Mimic, God damn, where's a Bonsley when you need it? Um, that you guys would be down to play some heyday. Um, honestly, I like playing heyday just because it's chill. You know, like I'm super organized or I try to be. So if you give me a game that's just all organization, then I'm just going to go crazy with it. You know, like you can build and design your own farm. Can we take out this Dragonite with a Sand Slash? Is this what we doing? Get him out of here. <gasps> a Gengar. Look at my boy! Look at my boy! I love Dragonite Gengar. The purple is Perfect. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Hey, nightshade me? Get out of here, bro. Get out of here. Um, but yeah, I, I really like it just because it's like uh, just a chill. You know, you can play Heyday while you're watching TV. Um, if you get to the point where like you really don't have much else to do, which you're not going to get to for a, a little while at least, um, you can just play like once a week, once or twice a week. Just update your farm, do whatever you need to do. So honestly, it's just like a super chill game. That's another one that's like, you can pay to play, but you really don't have to. The Really, the biggest pay to play elements are like just speeding up what happens in the game. You know, you don't have to pay to play. You can just wait. <laughs> you know, you can just wait. Wait a minute. Speaking of waiting, hold on. Is this a new route that we're on? Route 14? Gotta go back every single time. Route 13, Route 14, Route 15. It is a new route. Okay. Well, it's time to get a new encounter. Survey says... Do I have a repel on? What the fuck? Are no Pokemon over here? <laughs> what? Hey, I'll take that. Monty, come out here and just chill for a moment. It's gonna be so difficult to catch. I can't hit him with anything. My whole team is too high level. Uh, Sasha can confuse Ray him though. Hit him up with that. Quick attack me all you want. Do it. Do it. I'm not gonna waste any more. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say I'm not gonna waste any more great balls, but a pokeball caught him. I was gonna wait for him to hurt himself enough. If a major power outage occurs, it is certain that this Pokemon has eaten electricity at a power plant. 
Well, there's only one power plant in the whole region, so I guess. Um, so in Pokemon Go, I have an Electivire named Ronnie, because <laughs> he reminds me of Ronnie from Jersey Shore. <laughs> And it's so funny because me and Hector just finished watching all of Jersey Shore again. I think this is like the sixth time I've seen Jersey Shore <laughs> all the way through. We even watched the Family Vacation, which I did not know is still... They have new episodes every single week. Oh my god, I thought Monty fainted for a second. <gasps> Whoa. They still have new episodes every single week. And I was just so blown away like what how the fuck is this still going on but you know you really gotta you really gotta step back for a moment and realize like the cultural impact of a show like that like i feel like if we ever have a time capsule for like the 2010s i need a box set of jersey show <laughs> sure. i need a box set of all of jersey shore oh i did not mean to do that oh that was risky i meant to hit fly I definitely want a box set of all of Jersey Shore put in that time capsule because it is just, it's such a mind-boggling, mind-bending show. Um, watching it around this time though, the one thing that I really, really noticed about the show is like all the drama and everything that went down, like honestly, I felt like everyone, their feelings were valid. I'll give them that. Their feelings were valid. But all of them, each and every one of them, are awful communicators. Absolutely awful. You know, I mean, of course, it's it's a reality TV, it's a drama. They they chose them because they just scream and yell the whole time. But you know, if you look at it from a serious perspective, like they just were awful at communication. <laughs> like it was terrible. Dang, we got the whole squad up to forty-five already. Well, not the whole squad, but. Liberto's 45. We need Xavier to get up here. Okay, we got half the squad to 45. Lit. Anyways, I don't want to get distracted by Jersey Shore. I talk about Jersey Shore all fucking day. I don't know if that's something to be proud of or what, but either way. Um, so yeah, heyday. Super dope. Um, I need to honestly kind of figure that out a little bit. Um and how I'm going to manage something like that. You know, like what the actual uploads would be every single week. Can we guillotine this dude? Yeah, get that right on out of here. Oh, right on is so fucking dope too. Look at this. Winston does not care. Winston does not care. Level 45, let's go. Let's fucking go. We don't even need Dig. Get him out of here. Wait, come on over here, bro. Come on over here, I'm trying to get behind you. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Oh wait, we're already 45, hold on. Monty, fuck it up. We gotta spread the love. Look, now Monty is 45, Xavier, hit him up. Spread the love, Xavier, spread the love. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, but yeah, I have to figure out like what the actual uploads for a series like that would be um, because it isn't like, I mean, I don't know, maybe like to start off we'd have like maybe two to three episodes a week and then like maybe two of them will be updates on my farm and then one of them will be updates on your guys's farm that are part of the neighborhood so I don't know maybe something like that can we guillotine this guy I love it I mean I know we're 10 levels above but still I love it I love landing the guillotine there's a certain satisfaction let's see how this psychic does I know we're 10 levels above but let's see how this psychic does he still ate it, considering being 10 levels beneath me. Um, I need to find a TM to give to Xavier that would allow me to fuck up uh, Alakazam. Um, I need to hit him. Monty. Disable the cut, bruh. Disable the cut. We don't need both of them. That's why we got Slash 2. But yeah, I think just off the top of my head, that's probably the way that... I'd have to run a series like that. But that's kind of like Animal Crossing. Whoa, 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 what the fuck is happening here? Why are you beating the shit out of my Pokemon? 
Um, cause it's, I was gonna say, it's kind of like Animal Crossing in the sense that, like, it never ends. It literally never ends. They have, like, event after event after event in the game. It never fucking ends. So, I don't know. It would just go for a while. Maybe we'd have a goal, like, a hundred episodes or something. Just to see where we get in the neighborhood, but... Makes me happy that you guys would be down to run some heyday. Um, I had to put the game down. <laughs> like last year because I it's just eating up all my time Couldn't do anything else. It was just heyday 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 all day every day because there's always something to do something pops up Something's ready to be harvested something 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 So we'll see. I don't know. Is this still the same route? Route 13 um, But I mean is this grass patch in route 13? That's what I'm asking. I get the feeling that it is. And I don't want to... No, I get the feeling that it isn't. But would that one be and this one isn't? Um, I'm going to say just for GP on the map, Route 12 or whatever it is, the next one is, it's most definitely on that vertical route on the side over here. So I'm going to say that that is technically on the bottom route which I think is 13 look at this whole squad just gets one shot even without the same whole squad just gets one shot bro I fucking love Alakazam and Gen 1 I don't think I've ever used a Gen 1 Alakazam because I mean it was always a trade mine you know disable my sand attack bro we just need the slash we just need the slash you still did a shit ton of damage Bro, you keep sending out these poison types that are weak. They're weak to Alakazam, and they some beefy ass poison types too. I know you saw that muck, that needle queen. Okay, so I'm gonna double check the map just, just to be sure. Route 12 says we're on Route 12. The other one said we were on Route 13, so I'm gonna consider this good. Um, so we have the whole squad at 45 now. I guess we're gonna just continue on. Maybe 48 <laughs> has a goal for everyone. But our first encounter is. Do we have a Clefairy? I can't remember. Do we have a Clefairy? Adored for their cute looks and playfulness, they are thought to be rare as they do not appear often. I don't think we have a Clefairy. I'm gonna name it Barbara. Barbara lives on in another playthrough. Even though she may not be as good as she will be, she's still here living on. Um, so let's see here. Get rid of this awakening so we can free up a spot since we have the pokey flute now. But I think we're just about wrapped up up here. Um, I was thinking about playing a few other games. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like the one mon. Wait a minute. I was going to say it's like the one mon that can beat us <laughs> if you get one good hit off. Um, I was thinking about playing some other games that weren't mobile games. Um, I play a shit ton of mobile games now. Well, maybe not a shit ton. Like, I cycle through them. Um, I have the ones that, like, stick around. Damn! Just use an Awakening, trying to get rid of them. I have, like, the constant ones, like Pokemon Go, and for right now, Phobies, and Heyday is always lingering in the background. Um, on my iPad, I have a whole bunch of other little, whatever, Tutti Frutti games here and there. I'm the fishing guru's brother. I simply love fishing. Do you like to fish? Grand, I like your style. Take this and fish, young one. Hey, super rotted already. From the seas to rivers, go out and land the big one. Talking about that Yardos? That's not for a whole nother region, bro. Electricity is your specialty, bro? I don't think so. He most definitely just used metronome too, and we sped through that. God damn. But we got the good rod in the last episode. Now we have the super rod. And now we've made it all the way back. Look at that. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog. 
So I'm about 95% sure. Ninety-five percent sure I was wrong. <laughs> I was about to say about ninety-five percent sure that this is not until. Well, I can't fly until the next gym, but oh, I guess I was wrong. Guess I was wrong. Um, but anyways, I was thinking about um other games that were not mobile games to play. Um, I did play Tiny Tina's Wonderlands when it came out. Um, I technically never finished it. I'm in the last area. Um, but I don't know. There was just something about that game. Everybody was just ranting and raving about it. They were saying it was just like the best Borderlands to date and this and that. I think that there were parts of the game that were really, really very good that I liked quite a bit. Um, and then there are other parts of the game that it just felt very lacking. Not in like a, like I'm not trying to discredit the game or anything like that. Like I'm not trying to say like this made the game any worse or anything like that. It's just, I don't know. I, I feel like Borderlands is kind of at a point where, you know, like you've already set a standard and you have to continue with that standard. And I know some people are watching this are going to say, oh, what do you mean? It was a fucking great game. Like I said, I'm not saying it wasn't a great game. I enjoyed it. Um, the only real reason that I didn't finish the game, um, maybe I just kind of got burnt out on it, I guess. Um, oh, fuck, my item bag's gonna be packed right before we go into the safari zone. Um, I guess you could say maybe I got burnt out on it a little bit. Um, uh, I just played a lot of it all in a row. Um, and one of the things that I felt like it was lacking was, you know, they just had all these huge areas, all this shit to do. And it felt like they just didn't have enough things to do in these areas. You know, it just felt empty in some parts of the game. And I was just like, oh, well, okay, maybe they're going to come and do something with it later on or something like that. I don't know. I know there was a, I think there was a DLC that came out for it and I haven't looked at it yet. Um, but maybe we could do some Tiny Tina's DLC, finish up the game and play a little bit of DLC. Uh, I was playing Back for Blood a little while ago. I mean, you know, it's left for dead I gotta um, but I never finished that either <laughs> so maybe those would both be two really good LPs to kick things off with um, there's a few other things that I need to work out the logistics of and um, put a lot of thought into and of course you know there's always Skyrim waiting to be completed I did say it's gonna be finished one day I know they announced Elder Scrolls 6 but you know it's still like 10 years away we got time I don't know, just just a few thoughts that have been jumbling around my brain. Welcome to the Safari Zone. For just $500, you can catch all the Pokemon you want in the park. Would you like to hunt? Okay, wait. I'm going to look it up right now. Map of Safari Zone. Because I want to... Who the fuck said Pokemon Red? Map of Safari Zone Yellow. How about that? Since you want to be all specific with it. All Pacific... Bro, is this really what the Safari Zone looks like from above? For real? <laughs> is this really what the Safari Zone looks like from above? Ain't no way is this tidy. Ain't no fucking way. You're janking my chain. God damn, this motherfucker is tiny. No, I don't think it is. This looks, uh, oh wait, this is exactly what I was looking for. Whoa, 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 whoa. We found ourselves a g -g -g guide. Um, some quick math on the safari zone. I just want the picture, bruh. That's all I want. The rest house contains nothing useful. Avoid them and follow the route marked in red. <laughs> Um, okay, let's see here. Uh, okay, this is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. Alright, let's get it. Let's fucking get it. We're gonna do this all at once, but we need to get our encounter first. I mean, it's all randomized, so does it matter which route we go through? I don't think so. Uh, we can't surf yet, we don't have surf. We're gonna get surf here. Um, but there's an item in that first area where we can surf. I think I'm just going to trot, and whenever I get the first encounter, I get the first encounter. 
Oh, I'm not following the path that they set forward, but that's okay. We'll get as far as we can and then come back. It's late night yellow. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. So I believe there is an item up here. Ah! Our first encounter. Our only encounter in the safari zone is a fucking canopy. Um, did we catch a Butterfree? <laughs> I need to start writing these things down. I feel like we caught a Butterfree at one point, but I am not sure. Caught the Caterpie. Fuck it. If you touch the feeler on top of its head, it will release a horrible stink to protect itself. Let's give a nickname to this bitch. Let's name him. Mmm. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. The fuck was that? I didn't have the speed up button on or anything. I don't know what the fuck that was. I didn't speed up through that or anything. It just didn't even tell me. All right. Well, I hope that Caterpie isn't a dupe. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I wasn't trying to catch you anyway, bro. I'm sorry. TM44 survey says hypnosis. Oh my lord. I don't think I've ever played a Nuzlocke where the item selection were this terrible. A nugget. Okay. I mean, not item selection. TM selection was this awful. Like, it is just horrendous. Wow. Also, I don't think I've ever played a Nuzlocke where I've had this many dupes because I'm about 99% sure we caught a Butterfree already. But I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. This shit says no. Don't go up this staircase. <laughs> don't ever go up that staircase. You know what's crazy is that Arcanine would be dupes as well. Uh, a Weedle would be species. Uh, wait, yeah, we're going up this way. <laughs> um, so I'm not using the map so much because I don't know where to go. I'm using it more so just to make sure that we get all the items. <laughs> more so than anything else. Since they're all going to be randomized. Like, this is normally Skull Bash, but... Oh, no more room for fucking items. Come on, bro. I mean, I guess we can toss these Awakenings if we must. I really don't want to toss them, though. The Nugget and the TM. I'd rather sell the TM. Fuck, we're gonna have to toss a bunch of shit. See, this is why I wanted to leave the Pokey Flute. But, I mean, I guess one place, one place doesn't make a difference. TM16. Mirror move. Wow. Um, well, we're gonna have to toss something else. But the question is, what? Um... Uh, this bicycle, maybe? <laughs> maybe this bicycle? I think I'm gonna get rid of... I don't know how much the TM sell for off the top of my head. Maybe this full restore? We need the gold teeth. There's another TM. There's two more items. Three more items. Three more items, the gold teeth, and a TM. Wait. Holy fuck. Three items, the gold teeth, the TM, and HM Surf. One, two, three, four, five, six slots we need to open. Holy fuck. Um, we're just not going to be able to do this right now. <laughs> Um, do I toss a full restore? I mean, does it really matter? We got all these max elixirs and max ethers. I mean, I guess I could box these until we go to the Elite Four. Um. Fuck. Uh, let's toss. Fuck it. It's one full restore. I'm just gonna toss it. And then I'm gonna run out my steps up here. And then we're gonna go and drop off all those ethers and all that shit. And then, oh, I dropped a full restore for a max potion. You're kidding me. Um, okay, I'm going to run out my steps. You see, I ran past the gold teeth just now. Fuck, do I drop the max potion? I mean, I was willing to drop the full restore. Might as well. So at least, you know, I'm going to wait until we get to the teeth. Just in case. Just in case we run out of steps. All right, I feel kind of bad throwing those away. But we got the teeth, and I'm just gonna run out my steps. We'll come back. I was originally thinking of making three trips through the safari zone in this episode, but I don't think two is that bad. And honestly, I think we would have gotten it all in the first run. 
but our bag is full, so fuck can we do about that? <laughs> fuck can we do about that? So, I also didn't want to forget to remind you guys, I always remember this shit after it happens, but tonight is Thursday night, you'll probably be watching this Friday morning, which works too, because on Friday, if I'm not mistaken, the Rings of Power new Lord of the Rings show is supposed to be the most expensive show ever made, they spent like a billion dollars making this show. I love Lord of the Rings, so I'm very much so looking forward to this one. Yes indeed, yes indeed. Hold on, I feel like something is wrong with my recording. Okay, nothing is wrong, we're good. <laughs> I feel spooked for a second, I was like, wait a minute. I have this feeling, I have this feeling I'm gonna have to change boxes here soon as well. I'm gonna drop that off. I'm dropping dick off, I'm dropping dick off. Okay, I'm gonna drop all these as well. Cause we're just not using them right now. We haven't had a need for them, and I don't I really don't think we are going to have a need for them for a while. Um, okay, we're good there. Um, I'm actually gonna give the warden his gold teeth now, just so I can clear that out of my inventory space as well, and then we're gonna head up in that bitch and take on take on. I'm gonna head up in that bitch. <laughs> in the safari zone and get sir here you go buddy pop him back in pop him back in pop him pop him back in pop him back in thanks kid no one could understand a word that I said I couldn't work that way let me give you something for your trouble thanks bro okay so I'm gonna teach this and drop it in the PC as well Winston I'm so glad you can learn this let's get rid of clamp for it because we click in guillotine do we have the this requires strength to move Winston can move boulders damn bro oh my god it's a fucking awakening <laughs> tell you I should have just boxed the pokey flute I should have just boxed the fucking flute I'm never gonna get rid of these awakenings god damn Okay, I'm gonna deposit this awakening. I'm not gonna toss any more of these motherfuckers. I swear to God But yes, I think if I remember correctly rings of power are supposed to go down tomorrow So I am looking forward to it. If you're not watching house of the dragon, you're missing out I'm ready for all this medieval shit I'm gonna be start speaking with an old English accent from here on out and calling everybody my lord my lady Get rid of this nugget Get rid of that. Do we have another TM? Okay, our bag should be as empty as it can be. So here, take my money again, bitch. Take my money again. Okay, I don't think we've passed up anything. Um, what was strength? We still don't have surf yet. Um, oh no, we get surf in uh, Silph Coat. Okay, 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 okay. So I'm pretty sure we can get back there easy. I'm not gonna do any more speed up because I'm going to fuck it up and run out of steps. And we need to, I mean, we made it to the gold teeth. We made it to the gold teeth, so it shouldn't be too bad. I feel like the path to the safari zone for me, it's kind of like rock tunnel. Maybe I've just played it so much. You know, I feel like one of these houses does have an item in it or something. Did I get that carbos that was up there? Oh. Yeah, I think it was an ether. Um, but yeah, I feel like the route through Rock Tunnel and uh, Safari Zone, like I've played it so many times that it's just like second nature, you know? Like, there's no way I could get lost in here. I wasn't sure about all the items, but just wanted to be sure, you know, before I disappear in case there's a Master Ball lurking around here and I'm in the middle of talking about fucking Lord of the Rings and walk past it. <laughs> oh, whoops, my bad. Everybody be talking about, go back, you missed out on that Carbos. And I go back and it would be a fucking Master Ball. You know what, I'm gonna do that. The next item I see. Wait, am I going the right way? <laughs> next item I see, I'm gonna intentionally ignore it. Oh, fuck. No, I'm not. Because it's a TM, it's not gonna be a Master Ball. But what TM is it? Payday, oh wow, wow, yes, excellent. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. Wait, we got a hidden item here too? Look at that! Would you look at that? It's supposed to be a hidden revive. What's up, bro? Ah, oh, finally! 
You're the first person to reach the secret house. I was getting worried that no one would win our campaign prize. Congratulations, you have won. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. I think we got somebody that can learn that. Winston, he's the only one that can learn surf, bro. I guess we have to get rid of Crab Hammer. But you know, I'm not mad. This, we're actually going to utilize these things, so. Um. Maybe let's not waste too much time trying to they're really out of the way. How the fuck do you get to them? Oh, we have to go all the way down. Whoa. But it's two items. It could be a Master Ball. I kind of feel obligated to get them. I don't think that we're going to have enough steps to get them. We have to go through here a third time anyways. Because the only way around, we have to go all the way up. Nope, a new badge is required. Damn. We have to go all the way back up and around. There's no way we're going to make it in time. There's no way we're going to make it in time. Any second now. Because we have to go through the other door. The one that just says no. Yes, down this way. Okay, yeah, we have to go through here. Oh, this is not gonna work. It's not gonna work. No, I have faith. I have faith that it'll work. A great ball. Not mad at that. Doesn't take up any other items. Can we at least get to the. Fuck! Ah, it's right there. Oh my god, it's right there. You see it? You saw it? I have to go get it. I have to go get it. I'm sorry. I have to go get it. You can't tell me. Oh, but wait, I think we need to take a shortcut from here. Are you for real? I can't walk through there. Oh my god, we have to go all the way around. Never mind. Gotta go all the way around. I would say we just go fight Koga and then get the badge and surf. But I'm gonna forget. I'm definitely going to forget. <laughs> and it'll be the last episode before the Elite Four for us to come back and get this awakening. You know it's gonna be a fucking awakening. But wait. No, we have to go up. Oh, look, a Kangaskhan in the Safari Zone. Look at that. Wow, 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 wow. Yo, the biggest troll in the world is that this area north of here, like you go up those stairs that we just passed, not the ones we just went on, the other ones, this area up here is completely empty. Not a single thing in here. Not an item, not nothing. All right. We're getting this Master Ball. I know it's going to be a Master Ball. I just know it. I just know it. Oh, out of here. Alright. Can't be mad at that. I mean, it is somewhat of a useful item. So I can't be that mad. I'm gonna visit this house just cause. Tossing rocks at Pokemon might make them run, but they'll be easier to catch. Is this Erica? I hiked a lot, but I didn't see any Pokemon that I wanted. Using bait will make Pokemon easier to catch. Alright, well. We got all the items in the Safari Zone. Whoa, imagine if that was our first encounter. Holy cow. Get me out of here. Did we get a good haul? Absolutely not. <laughs> we got a bunch of ragtag items. <laughs> and that was about it. So let me head back to this here center and deposit some items. Clean up our bag a little bit. And then I think we're going to wrap up tonight's episode there. Um, we did a lot, to be fair. Uh, we discussed a lot. I would love your guys' input and all of that. Um, we battled a lot. We got a lot of training in today. Like, god damn, look at the squad. Xavier's almost 48. God damn, ain't nothing stopping us, bro. Ain't nothing stopping us. Not a goddamn thing. Uh, but I think in the next episode, or in tomorrow's episode, let's deposit that. Let's deposit that. Let's deposit that. Let's deposit that. Okay. Should be good for now. So I think in tomorrow night's episode, I think we are going to have not one, but two gym battles. Um, I think that we are going to... Well, most definitely take on Koga. And then I think the next thing to do is to head to Saffron City. 
and I think at the very least we're going to take on maybe we'll have three gym battles because um, I would really like to give um, Silphco its own time you know like really go through all the tower um, just take your time with it you know it's late night yellow you know reason we have to speed through it um, but tomorrow I, we're definitely gonna take on Koga we'll probably take on the fighting dojo which is one of the gyms and if Serena's gym is available probably Sabrina as well fuck it let's go let's take them all on let's have three gym leaders three gym battles in one episode that's gonna be one hell of a thumbnail I can tell you that much <laughs> and then we'll probably do self co after that um god damn the middle part of this game really just really speeds up they need like another rocket event in between here and self co maybe like one leading up to it or something like that I don't know I don't think we got our encounter south of here either I think we waited I don't think we fished Maybe we did, maybe we didn't. I need to go through what Pokemon we have in here. But either way, I'm going to wrap up tonight's episode here. If you guys enjoyed and you want to show your support as a problem or an happy nation, make sure to like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And I will catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for your love and light. And until I see you again, be safe. I'm out this bitch. Bye.